Notorious Mercenary Eric Prince is Advising Trump from the Shadows By Jeremy Scahill Eric Prince, America's most notorious mercenary, is lurking in the shadows of the incoming Trump administration. A former senior U.S. official who has advised the Trump transition told The Intercept that Prince has been advising the team on matters related to intelligence and defense, including weighing in on candidates for the defense and state departments. The official asked not to be identified because of a transition policy prohibiting discussion of confidential deliberations. On election night, Prince's latest wife, Stacey DeLuke, posted pictures from inside Trump's campaign headquarters as Donald Trump and Mike Pence watched the returns come in, including a close shot of Pence and Trump with their families. We know some people who worked closely with Trump on his campaign, DeLuke wrote waiting for the numbers to come in last night. It was well worth the wait. Hash President Trump 2016. Prince's sister, billionaire Betsy DeVoe, is Trump's nominee for education secretary and Prince, and his mother, gave large sums of money to a Trump super PAC. In July, Prince told Trump's senior advisor and white supremacist Steve Bannon, at the time head of Breitbart News that the Trump administration should recreate a version of the Phoenix program, the CIA assassination ring that operated during the Vietnam War, to fight ISIS. Such a program, Prince said, could kill or capture the funders of Islamic terror and that would even be the wealthy radical Islamist billionaires funding it from the Middle East, and any of the other illicit activities therein. Prince also said that Trump would be the best force to confront Islamic fascism. As for the world looking to the United States for leadership, unfortunately, I think they're going to have to wait till January and hope Mr. Trump is elected because, clearly, our generals don't have a stomach for a fight, Prince said. Our president doesn't have a stomach for a fight and the terrorists, the fascists, are winning. Prince founded the notorious private security firm Blackwater, which rose to infamy in September 2007 after its operatives gunned down 17 Iraqi civilians, including a nine-year-old boy in Baghdad's Nisar Square. Whistleblowers also alleged that Prince encouraged an environment in which Iraqis were killed for sport. At the height of the Blackwater scandals in 2007, another prominent Trump backer, Rep. Dana Rahrabacher, praised Prince, who once worked in his congressional office. Prince, Raw Rabacher said, is on his way to being an American hero just like Holly North was. Ultimately, Prince sold Blackwater and now heads up a Hong Kong-based company known as Frontier Services Group. The Intercept has previously reported on Prince's efforts to build a private air force for hire and his close ties to Chinese intelligence. One of his latest schemes is a proposal to deploy private contractors to work with Libyan security forces to stop the flow of refugees to Europe. Prince has long fantasized that he is the rightful heir to the legacy of Wild Bill Donovan and his Office of Strategic Services, the precursor to the CIA. After 9-11, Prince worked with the CIA on a secret assassination program in addition to offering former SEALs and other retired special operators to the State Department and other agencies for personal security. Blaming leftists and some congressional Democrats for destroying his Blackwater empire, Prince clearly views Trump's vow to bring back torture, CIA-sponsored kidnapping, and enhanced interrogations, as well as his commitment to fill Guantanamo with prisoners as a golden opportunity to ascend to his rightful place as a covert private warrior for the U.S. national security state. As we reported last year, Prince, who portrays himself as a mix between Indiana Jones, Rambo, Captain America, and Pope Benedict, is now working with the Chinese government through his latest private security firm. The Trump presidency could result in Prince working for both Beijing and the White House. The Blackwater founder has also endorsed some of Trump's overtures to Russia, saying, Think about it, if FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, can deal with Stalin to defeat German fascism in World War II, certainly the United States of America could work with Putin to defeat Islamic fascism. We don't have to agree with the Russians on everything, or even on a lot, but we can at least agree that crushing ISIS in the Middle East is a very good idea. Prince described Democrats as anti-Catholic, anti-evangelical, saying the DNC hacks and leaks revealed the disregard, 
the disdain they have for the average American voter and citizen. Prince has a close relationship with Breitbart News and Steve Bannon, Trump's senior counselor and chief strategist. Prince has appeared frequently, and almost exclusively, on Breitbart Radio. In August, Prince offered praise for Trump's candidacy, telling Breitbart's Milo Yiannopoulos, I even like some of his projects that have gone bankrupt, because people that do things, and build things, and try things, sometimes fail at doing it, and that's the strength of the American capitalist system. Prince added, We have kind of turned our back on the fact that hard work, sacrifice, risk-taking, innovation, is what made America great. Washington did not make America great. In September, Prince backed Trump's proposal to commandeer Iraq's 2 million barrels of daily oil output. For Mr. Trump to say, we are going to take their oil, certainly we're not going to lift it out of there and take it somewhere else, but putting it into production, and putting a tolling arrangement into place, to repay the American taxpayers for their efforts to remove Saddam and to stabilize the area, is doable, and very plausible. Prince said on Breitbart Radio. Prince's sister, Betsy DeVoe, is Trump's nominee for education secretary and she has all but vowed to embark on a crusade to push a privatization and religious agenda in education that mirrors her brothers in military and CIA affairs. Prince has long been a contributor to the campaign of fellow Christian warrior Mike Pence, and he contributed $100,000 to the pro-Trump super PAC Make America No. 1. Prince's mother, Elsa, pitched in another $50,000. That organization, run by Rebecca Mercer, daughter of billionaire hedge funder Robert Mercer, was one of the strongest bankrollers of Trump's campaign. According to New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd, in December Prince attended the annual Villains and Heroes costume ball hosted by Mercer. Dowd wrote that Palantir founder Peter Thiel showed her a picture on his phone of him posing with Eric Prince who founded the private military company Blackwater, and Mr. Trump, who had no costume, but joke d, that it was in SFI, not safe for the internet. Not even Trump is brazen enough to give Prince a public post in his administration. But Prince is operating in the shadows, where he has always been most at home. Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Stay tuned. Victory of the Light. Event is coming soon. YouTube channel. Break the echo chamber. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. Or with someone you think might already get it. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it by any means. If you'd like to support our work, you can donate at stormcloudsgathering.com forward slash donate.